So I've got a bit of a confession to make. I've mentioned in passing in a couple of recent videos that I don't own a bandsaw. It's not strictly true. Um, this is my bandsaw. This is a Burgess bandsaw. Uh, British made from the 1970s, made in Leicester, I believe. Uh, very 70s in design. Um, almost no health or safety features. No micro switches on this side plate. You can take the whole of the side plate off with the saw running. Um, and have access to all the sharp spinny parts. It's sometimes called a Burgess three-wheeler because of the layout and it's one way of getting the blade into a more compact shape. Uh, very, you know, very much a hobby bandsaw in its day. Uh, no dust collection, of course, uh, and all terribly basic. Now I bought this on eBay for about £20 about a year ago and I, I fiddled with it for a few weeks and got it cutting sort of adequately. Spent you know at least as much again on some new blades as you do. Um, and then I put it away under a, uh, under a bench. I don't have a great deal of use for a bandsaw to be honest. Uh, little cutaways in the back of drawer boxes where, the, where it sits over the, uh, over the runners, that kind of thing. Uh, and having got it up and running sort of adequately, well I put it to one side and, and True enough, when the time came to do little cutouts in drawer boxes, I dug this out and it wouldn't work, so I put it away again. Uh, it turns out the blade had just come off the off the bottom, uh, out of the bottom wheel here, and, and the tension had all, had all gone on it. Uh, but occasionally I think, well, maybe a bandsaw might be quite handy. Um, this one does have a, a sort of an unnerving habit of... Uh, tripping the breaker every time you switch it on or off, even more bizarrely. Uh, so for that reason and, and quite a few others, it's probably not going to be a keeper. And I've been looking around for another sort of cheap bandsaw. I don't, I'm, you know, you know the kind of work I do if you've seen my other videos. I'm not going to be cutting my own veneers or any of that sort of thing. Uh, but just for those little sort of, you know, glorified jigsaw type work uh, under a little bit more control, that sort of thing would be quite useful. So what I've done, I bought myself one of these. Um, this is from Aldi. Aldi, Aldi. They're a German chain of uh, cheap sort of supermarkets, very much like Lidl, if you're familiar with those. Uh, I've got to confess, I've never been into an Aldi store. There isn't one near here. Um, but they have this sort of own brand work zone. And this uh, bandsaw came up on a, on a forum that I contribute to very occasionally. And a couple of people rated it. It's very similar to the, there's one made by Shepak. Uh, and it's visually very similar. And in fact, this says on the, on the box here, the Aldi service UK at Shepak.com. So, you know, it's obviously a, a deal has been done. But they're selling this under their own brand for £80. And I thought I'd buy it and try it and see if it's any good. So let's get it out of the box and find out. This is, I'm not really a bandsaw user, so I'm not sure which bits I can get hold of to pull this out. I'm expecting a certain amount of self-assembly. Uh... Following the supplied instructions, it's straightforward to fix the table in place and level it up square to the blade. So with everything sort of more or less bolted together and reasonably straight, uh, first impressions are pretty good actually. Tiny little thing, but really, really sweet. And it's got an 80mm throat on it. Maximum depth of cut. I would imagine you'd get a fair bit of blade wonder at that sort of height, but I'm not going to use it for anything like that thick, at that sort of thickness. Uh, the upper and lower doors are accessed by screwdriver for access to the wheels, alloy wheels, which is nice. 
little micro switches on each one. So that's, uh, I presume we'll try that, but I presume that won't run then with these doors open. Good safety measure. Uh, there's a little, around the back here, dust collection port. Like that. Yeah, it's a standard D27 or D36 outer. So that's good. So then if we plug that into the outlet on that circuit, uh, it's a 350 watt induction motor, so it should be nice and quiet. Um, the table's all a bit sort of tinny and springy metal. Uh, the whole thing's a bit, well, actually, no, it's, it's, it's my bench that's a bit wobbly, not for you. Yes, what we might do is just pop a couple of clamps on that. There we are, that's more sturdy. Um, it's a little 350 watt induction motor, so I presume it's pretty quiet. Let's fire it, fire it up and see. Yeah, seems pretty good. Check those micro switches. Yep, nothing doing with that, quiet, with that open, which is good. Excellent safety measure. Um, the fence is a bit sort of spindly and, and not sort of particularly up to much, I don't think. Uh, where are you? Can you see? Which side? See that? You probably can't see me. Let's put that on that side. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to try cutting some little thin strips. As I say, I'm not, uh, I'm not going to be trying to rip my own uh, veneers on this or anything. <laughs> Things first. Obviously you should be using push sticks. I was just doing that very quickly just to demonstrate how the saw uh, cuts. And I've got to say, can you see that? Cuts fantastically well. Uh, that's the stock blade, the blade that comes with it. I'd expect like screws with a, you know, almost anything. You throw those away and you use better ones. Uh, the, the standard blade, uh, strictly speaking, shouldn't be anything like that good. I'd expect, I'd always expect to change the blade. That's, you know, that's amazing. That's two, maybe three millimetres thick. Pro you could probably go thinner, but that would be unfair. Let's try. Uh, again, this fence is all, a, it's, it's not brilliant at any stretch. Um, but for the sort of things that I'm likely to put this to, it's fantastic. Right, okay, so again, that's, you know, millimetre wide rip, admittedly only in a piece of inch thick softwood. But that's amazing. Absolutely fantastic. What a, what a great little saw. Um, but uh, remarkably good cut from that. Um, one of the potential problems that you might find with it Obviously, there's no uh, uh, the the table itself is just you know pressed tin, probably steel. Uh, so there's no mitre slots in it. So you wouldn't want to use this for any sort of super accurate work. Um, it's probably okay. I wonder if you did need to use it for. I oh, know I made the the planters recently, and I was talking about just chamfering the corners. Um, you could probably do that on this, but you need to make up a little sort of jig of some kind. Little scrap of 6mm uh, MDF. You staple a softwood batten underneath it so the edge is nice and flush. So with this little sort of jig made up, again it's just going to run against the side of the table. There's nothing to stop it doing that sort of business. Um, so you need to be sort of reasonably careful with it. But I think if you were, I've just got a little pencil mark on the uh, side of the fence here to give me an idea of I've got a 
USA for a cheap little bandsaw with a cheap little blade and just in a jig made up from a couple of bits of scrap in about a couple of minutes. That's perfectly acceptable. You might need to tidy these the, the edges up a little bit with a block of sandpaper, uh, block of sandpaper, block of wood, and a piece of sandpaper. Well, that's perfectly acceptable. So yeah, great. Very impressed with that. Very, uh, very favourable first impressions. Uh, <laughs> serious question: If anybody would like a 1970s Burgess three-wheeler that's <laughs> with a known electrical fault, uh, you're very welcome to come and collect it from me in London W12. Uh, get hold of me through my email. It's on. It's on the, my YouTube contacts. Uh, it's got a two or three spare blades with it as well. Quite good tough saw ones. So, uh, but but in all serious, seriousness, if anybody wants it as a spares and repair project, they are very welcome to it. Um, but I, yes, I'm, I'm definitely very impressed with this. Uh, a very neat little saw for very little money. It's uh, powerful enough and quiet, uh, and I'm uh, definitely going to be putting that to good use in the near future. Um, thank you so much for watching. This has just been a very quick uh, first impressions type video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you found it useful, uh, and I hope to see you next time. Take care.